Good morning, everyone. Can we get someone to pull that back door for us, please? Thank you so much. Good morning, members of the committee. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We're going to go uh, specifically off the changes the subcommittee has recommended uh, from the recommendation of the governor, and we start with 4.0 audits and accounts. Page number. I don't know if you're working off the same do document of my numbers. I've got page six, Jeremy. Page five. Page five. That's a reduction for personnel on 11.1.3. There's a deputy position there that uh, we're going to hold open a little bit longer. Next change is in administrative services. Page, Jeremy. Page seven. Oh, good. We're on the same page. 12.1.2 is the compensation that passed of Representative Hughley's on crossover day, the amount of $343,000. 12.6.1 is up at the purchasing cap for the state purchasing. And on 12.11.2, it's a reduction in the available flight hours for the Aviation Authority, the amount of $700,000. No changes in banking and finance, nor driver services. Governor's Office 26.1 is a change due to interest in money already paid on 26.1.1. No changes in insurance. No changes in state property. Excuse me, I jumped ahead. I apologize. Let's go to natural resources. I, I've got it as page 13. Is everybody with me? 33.3.5 under environmental protection. Recommendation of $150,000 cut. We're going to take a $100,000 cut, leaving them $50,000 for operational expense. You'll see the same thing under Parks and Recreation. And then under 33.6.4 is the career ladder, the second phase. And on 33.9.1 on wildlife resources. Elimination of all positions except one, which is about a $66,000 change. Now, no changes under state property. Department of Revenue, page 16, 41.4.1. It's a hole that was created in the 13. We're partially filling that hole to the tune of 625,000. Next page on 41.11.2 is a, the governor took X amount of vacancies that were open. We're gonna take an additional 20 vacancies within the um, department's these are positions that they hold. They've got it still leaves them about 20 additional vacancies. We're going to take those funds. Under Secretary of State, page 18. Under Office Administration, they have not been spending all at 40, excuse me, 42.4.2. They have not been spending those dollars. The same thing can be said under Securities. 42.6.1. We're taking the amount from Ad Office of Administration and the Office of Securities and adding those, which you will see at 42.5.2. Those two combined equal about $106,000. We're going to move those funds that they're not utilizing in the Office of Administration and Securities to the licensing boards to help him with this problem of being able to answer um, calls at the operational center. 42.9.2 is an addition. Of 
$18,090 for the Georgia Government Transparency and Campaign Finance Commission. And no changes under Workman's Compensation Section 49. And at this time, are there any questions? Yes. Resources, uh, those positions, for those offered up by the group I'm on page 13. Down at the bottom. Let me find it. Okay. Thank you. We make two field and one. Where, where are you at? Uh, 33.6.1. 33.9.1. 33 We're not making it as um, severe as it could have been. The governor originally offered up uh, 433,000. We actually left one position vacant to give a little flexibility within the department. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other questions? Great. At this time, I'll entertain a motion. Move. Got a motion. I second. Second. All those in favor of passing, say aye. Those opposed, like sign. Thank you so much.